is Charger One. Tonight, it's the Surf City Showdown as your Edison Chargers take on the Huntington Beach Oilers. It's their Sunset League opener for both teams and each and every game counts. Luckily, our Edison Chargers come into this 5-0 undefeated and the Huntington Beach Oilers are 4-1. But first, it's time for Riley's recap on the San Clemente game. On offense, quarterback Parker Awad was 12 of 22 for 163 yards and two touchdowns. Carter Hogue rushed for 95 yards and a touchdown. Ashton Hurley caught four passes for 79 yards and two touchdowns. And Mason York had four catches for 49 yards, including a great one-handed grab that set up a touchdown. On defense, Dom Lopez had 13 tackles Logan Gregory had 12, Jake Giles had 10, and Carter Hogue had eight solo tackles. Jake Giles also had two sacks. Our player of the game on offense was senior lineman Zach Gruel, who due to injuries on the line moved over to play center and had a fine game. Not an easy do thing to do to fill in and snap the ball in a shotgun offense. Our player of the game on defense was the entire defense. As a unit, our defenders came up huge so many times and put tremendous pressure on the San Clemente quarterback and shut down the San Clemente passing attack. And we all know defense wins championships. And now it's time for Coach's Corner. Coach Grady, what can you tell us about your defense at the San Clemente game that came up Big time after time. Yeah, they stepped up all night. I mean, they had, we had a whole bunch of three and outs, a whole bunch of four and outs, and we created a bunch of turnovers, and that was the key to our victory. How important was the bye week? Oh, I think it's important for everybody at this stage in the, in the season. It allows everybody to kind of get healthy somewhat and uh, gets all, get all your aches and pains somewhat healed up and ready for the league push. What can we expect from this 4-1 and one Oilers team? You know, they're, they're physical. We've played five physical teams, and they're going to be number six. And uh, they move around a lot up front on defense. They push the ball down the field a lot on offense. So, you know, some excitement in the air. All right. Thank you so much, Coach. Good luck. All right. Thank you very much. I'm here with the cast of Sunset Rewind, and we just wanted to thank you guys so much for having us on your show last week. Well, you guys were awesome. Thank you so much for coming on. We got a lot of nice comments about the two of you. You did a great job, and the fact that you're promoting your team and the community is what we're all about, what you guys are all about, so it was a perfect match. Yeah, thank, thank you, you very much, Riley and Papa Al. You guys did a great job. It was cool having you in the studio, and Charger One is just awesome. Great show you guys do. All right, thank you so much. We'll see you guys later. Thank you. All right, welcome to this uh, opening game for the Sunset League. This is... The Huntington Beach Oilers, 4-1, taking on the undefeated Edison Chargers. All right, let's get this Sunset League thing going here. Huntington Beach will be kicking off to Edison. Back to return is Mason York, uh, 81. And uh, I don't know who the other one is. We'll see if he gets the ball. Keeper approaches. Into the end zone, automatic touchback. Be brought out to Boy, the... This kid goes into the end zone. Edison Isaiah will take over first and 10 there. from there on. All right, Edison got off to a bit of a rough start there on offense. Had a motion penalty, so it's first and 15. Balls out to Mason York. York moves up. Parker first Hula, down. Pass complete to Mason York. All right, we lied. It was second and two. Awad looks and incomplete. All right, it's second and two. Ho gets the ball, comes to the middle. Gets up close to Carter the 30. Hope with the carry for the Chargers. Short of the first down, I think. So no, nope, move the sticks. Down. Move the sticks. All right, first and 10. Ball is just outside the 30-yard line for Edison. Awad waits, takes, looks. 
Steps up, gives to Hogue. He's met immediately, but picks up about six yards on the play. All right, that was a five-yard pickup for Hogue on that pass from Awad. Second down and five. Awad keeps, throws outside, and incomplete intended for Ashton Hurley. It is third down and five for Edison. Awad drops back again, steps up, throws downfield to a wide open Mason York. Touchdown, Edison. To Mason York for a charging touchdown. Mallory. Sorry about that, we had some enthusiastic uh, Edison parents, but that was a big bomb from Awad to Mason York. Touchdown, Edison. All right, we think that was about a 64-yard touchdown pass. We'll have to come back and look at that later. And extra points up, and it's good. And with that, it's seven, Oilers zero. And a kickoff for the Chargers. Okay, the official Renee Charger one statistician. Everybody up for the kickoff. Renee Gates said that was officially a 65-yard touchdown reception. Mason York from Park Awa. Okay, kickoff. Short. Comes to the 20. And he's buried immediately. Oh, the return was by Turner. Number 16, Carson Daniels. And Carson Daniels had a great game yesterday for the oh, JV the team the as, the they the Hunted, as they beat the Oilers Huntington Beach Oilers 63 to nothing. Yard line. All right, this will be Huntington Beach's first try on offense. Number seven, the quarterback is Dante Bell. Nice tall kid. Gives the ball to Garrisitano, and he's buried in the backfield. That's number 10, Jake Giles. Okay, I totally blew that. That was a 10-yard pickup for a first down. I don't know what I was watching. I was talking to folks up here. Okay, first and 10 for Huntington Beach. Quarterback throws out, and it's tipped at the line. Let's see who was over there. That was number oh, seven, so Logan Gregory. All right, we're going to call that uh, no gain on that last play, so it's second down and 10 for Huntington Beach. Garrett. Uh, no, throws out to number one, that's Vandermaid. He's been their big receiver, knocked out of bounds by number six, Dylan complete. Walters, and Dom Lopez, number 11. All right, Vandermaid got a first down, and uh, Huntington Beach Rollers have reeled off two consecutive first downs here. So, sec uh, first and 10, quarterback looks, throws over the middle. That's Vandermaid, gets outside, tackled on the play. Number 39, Talk Carter Ho. Pass is complete to Mas Masaki Ray. I'm sorry, that was Masaki Ray for Huntington Beach on the completion. Tackle made by Carter Ho. All right, the Huntington Beach uh, coaching staff's done their homework. They know they got to do everything quick, quick, quick because we've got a, a very pressure-packed uh, defense there. Quarterback throws again. Complete. Tackle on the play by number 43, Hunter Venom, and number 11, Tom Lopez. Okay, second down and four for the Huntington Beach Oilers. Gersitano gets the ball, tries the middle, and gets very little on the play. Tackle there. Right, let's see who comes up. Up, up, up. Number 18, Jackson Irwin, and Jake let's see Giles who else was there. Number 10, the Jake Giles. All right, third down and a long one. Well, ball's on the 20 for Huntington Beach. Quarterback gets the ball, and it's Barry. Number 43, Hunter Venom in the backfield. Don't That's a sack, baby. All right, Huntington Beach is going to forsake going for a field goal here. It's fourth down. We'll call that a long six. Quarterback drops back. Running, running, and tackled. Hunter Venom again. The ball comes loose. But they're going to say he's down. Hunter Venom. Snaked in there. That was sacked by the Chargers. Hunter Venom. Tackled Dante Chargers Bell. Take over first and ten. Two sacks for him now. All right, a motion penalty on Edison makes it first and 15. We'll call that the 26-yard line. Awad waits, looks, steps up, decides to run, and gives himself up at the 31. Parker so it'll be Awad second down and 10. It is second down and 10. Awad looks again, throws out to York. York is short of the first down, brings up third down and short. It's third and four for Edison from the, we'll call that 36, 37 yard line. Awad looks, throws, first down to Mason York. Still moving, and see where 
Anderson marked him out of bounds. Marked him out of bounds at the 49-yard line. First down, Edison. First and 10, Edison from the 49-yard line. Awad drops back again. Plenty of time, throws downfield, and it's caught. No, no drop, but pass interference. All right, as far as pass interference penalties go, that was actually a good one. Uh, so Edison has the ball on the 36. Awad throws again, slant over the middle. Tucker trip. First down. All right, first and 10 from the 24-yard line. Awad throwing on every play, throws into the end zone, wide open, and overthrows Mason York. All right, it's second down and 10. Awad throwing again, gets it out to Ashton Hurley. He's in the end zone, touchdown. Long handoff in a sense to Hurley, and then he ran 24 yards for the score. Edison's up in this ball game, two touchdowns to nine. All right, Nick Preston off for the point after try. Trigno with the hold. It's up and it's good. And with that, the extra point is good. Edison goes up. Edison 14. 14 to nothing with 5.17 left to go in this first quarter. All right, Nick Preston, his second kickoff of the game. Balls up. Again, a short one. Comes down to 15. And let's see who that is on the tackle there. That's number, uh, come on out of there, young fella. That's number 42. Number 42 is Jeremiah Ross. He had a great game for the JVs yesterday, too. He was quite the bullfrog. In about 15 yards. All right, first and 10 for the Oilers from the 28-yard line. This is their second uh, try to get down the field. Quarterback's trying to... Okay, I'm telling you, Hunter Venom, Jackson Irwin, Noah Thompson. They're all in there, baby. There was a three-yard loss on that sack. Quarterback looks, tries to throw quickly. Ball is batted down at the line. Bell's pass is tipped at the line uh, of scrimmage. I think Incomplete. that might have been Jake Giles, number 10. All right, it is third down and 13 for the Oilers. Quarterback throws, and I'm telling you, that's Carson Schmidt. Johnny on the spot. Spot brings up a kicking situation for, for Huntington Beach. Carson Schmidt. All right, the very quick Edison defense is giving the Oilers fifth. Malachi Pierce comes up, catches the ball. It's going to be a first down on the 49-yard line. All right, 3.43 left to go in this first quarter. First down for Edison. Awad steps up, decides to run, finds some room, gets first down. All right, first and 10, Edison from the 40. Ho gets the ball, finds room. He's gone, baby. Into the end zone, touchdown. All right, 40-yard touchdown run. Carter Ho, his 10th touchdown of the year. All right, Edison goes up three touchdowns in the game. Here is the point after try. Preston is up, it is. Good, and with that, with 2.56 left to go in this first quarter, Edison is up 21 to nothing. All right, this is a great start. The Edison offense, uh, other than the Venice game, hasn't scored very much in the first quarter. Now they got three touchdowns. Okay. Catches the ball, but takes a knee at the 24, first and 10 for the Oilers. First and 10 for the Oilers from the 24. Dante Bell, number seven, back at quarterback. Takes the ball, gives to Garrisotano. He fumbles the ball. Recovered, Dom Lopez. Dom Lopez on the recovery. We'll slow this down and see who made the strip. But Dom Lopez comes up with the ball, and Edison has great field position. They come to play tonight, baby. All right, kudos to that Edison defense. They're giving Huntington Beach something they haven't seen all year. First and down from the 20. Awad steps up, looks, throws in the end zone. Wide open, Mason York. What a mismatch. Pass is complete to Mason York for a touchdown. 
20 yard completion, pitch and catch. And Edison is just lights out on offense and defense right now. Nick Preston on for the extra point. It's up and it's good. And with that, with 2.43 to go in this, uh, I'm sorry, in the first quarter, your Edison Chargers are up 28 to zero. Well, if this keeps up, Nick Preston's parents are gonna go have to hire a leg masseuse because that leg's gonna get pretty tired. Kicks it off. The ball comes down to the 18, 17 yard line. Oh, finds a little seam. Let's see who that is there. Preston's kick is returned and by number 23, Tyler Young. Number 20, number 20 is Dylan Ugas. Dylan Ugas made the tackle for the Chargers. I think I said his name right, Ugas. All right, first and 10, the Oilers from the 21. There was a penalty on the play. Garrisotano gets the ball, tries to come outside. Still moving. And they whistle it dead. We'll call that the 24, 25 yard line. Can't tell you made that tackle because they all made that tackle. Jack Garrison. All right, they gave Garrisotano three yards on that play. Brings up second down and seven. 157 to go in this first quarter. Bell waits, steps back, has a little time this time, throws downfield, and overthrows his intended receiver. It's number five, Malachi Pierce on the defense. All right, trips right for the Oilers. It's third down and seven. Bell back, throws a little to number 20, and he is blown up by Hunter Venom. Well, I tell you, Hunter Venom has come to play, and Dom Lopez, this entire defense, boy, they were the stars at San Clemente, and they're having one whale of a night tonight. All right, that Hunter Venom tackle brings up a fourth down for the Oilers, punting situation. Hunter takes a snap, gets off a short punt, but gets a bit of a Huntington Beach roll down to the 40-37-yard line. All right, there's 47 seconds left to go in this first quarter. Edison with the first down from the 37-yard line. Awad waits, gives to Hogue, and he gets up to the 41-yard line, pick up a four yards. for the Chargers. 14 seconds left to go in this quarter. Awad rolls to his left, throws downfield to a wide open. Ashton Hurley, his first reception of the game. First down, Edison. First and 10, Edison from the 43-yard line. Four seconds left in this quarter. Awad steps up, decides to run, and slides down at the 31 yard All right, that play brings us to the end of the first quarter. Your Edison Chargers have zoomed out to a 28 to nothing lead over the Huntington Beach Oilers. All right, Edison starts with the first down from the 34 in this Second quarter, Ho gets the ball, runs, still running, and gets down to the eight, nine yard line. All right, 25 yard pickup for Hogan. That it's first in 10 from the nine yard line. Ho gets the ball again, this time he's met, still manages to lurch forward for a yard. Right, Edison with the ball on the eight yard line. Second down and goal from the eight. Awad throws outside. Incomplete intended for Ty Banderuk. Third and goal from the eight yard line. Trips right. Ho gets the ball. No, Awad keeps it. And he's in the end zone. Good fake to Ho. Awad rolled around the right side and got in the end zone. Right, that Awad score shoots the Edison. Uh, tally up but let's see if we can add an extra point here that's Nick Preston it's up and it's good all right there's 1101 left to go in this first half and Edison is shot up to a 35 to nothing lead all right after that uh, Parker A. Watt rumble into the end zone Edison's kicking off again and I'm waiting to see where it went oh it went in through the end zone I kind of lost that in the dark over there so the Oilers will have the ball first and 10 from the 20. It's first and 10 for the Oilers. 
Bell keeps the ball, tries to roll outside, big deep pitch. And the running back gets there, knocked out of bounds by Dom Lopez. But he gets up around the 35 yard line. That was Vandermade on that. Trips left for the Oilers. That was an eight yard pickup for AJ Vandermade on that last play. Bell drops back, trying to find some time. Scoots outside, oh, and he is met and dropped. We're waiting to see who that is. That is number seven, Logan Gregory. All right, it is third and one from the 29 for the Oilers. 10 minutes left to go in this half. Bell throws quickly, first down. Knocked out of bounds by Malachi Pierce at the 37, 38 yard line. All right, first and 10 for the Oilers from the 38 yard line. Bell takes the snap, gives to Gurusatana, and he is met and blown up, and nobody is getting any positive yards on that. That was Gregory Giles, and number 69 on that is Cole Trulove. Okay, I want to apologize. That was not Gurusatana on that last period. That was Jackson Brown, Dr. My Eyes. Okay, Bell takes the ball, throws, and it's dropped by number one, A.J. Vandermeer. All right, it's third down and 10 from the 38. Bell is just rolled over. He just said, I'm going down. That was number 81, Mason York, number six, Dylan Walters. And we'll call that a sack. All right, this dominating Edison defense forces the Oilers to kick once again. Rolls out, yeah, nearly blocked. Leave it, fire. Yeah, it still gets a good roll. Down to the 37 yard line. All right, there's 8.04 left in this second half. Fake to Hogue, and Awad is sacked. All right, six yard loss on that sack of Awad brings up a fake to Hogue, and see who that is out there. It's Ashton Hurley. Uh, picked up about a yard on that. Okay, 6.35 left in this first half. That was a two-yard pickup by Hurley. It is, we'll call that third and a bunch. Awad throwing deep downfield to Hurley. I'm sorry to Mason York, and he comes up with a great grab. High pointing the ball. First down, Edison. First down, Charger. All right, first and 10, Edison from the 39-yard line. Ho gets the ball. And is met immediately. Carter Hope with the carry. There's 5.45 left to go in this uh, first half. Two yard pickup for Hogue. Awad gets the ball to Hogue. He breaks a tackle, still moving, and gets down to the 29 yard line. First down, move the chain. All right, first and 10, Edison from the 29. Just about five minutes left to go in this first half. Ho gets the ball again, tries the middle, still moving, and gets down to about the, we'll call that the 25 yard line. Hogue with a carry. That was a four yard pickup for Hogue. Brings up second down and six. Awad looks, throws, into the corner of the end zone, and it's good. Mason York is on fire, baby. Flag on the play. All right, that Mason York touchdown was negated by a holding penalty against Edison. Brings up second and 16. Awad throws back to York, and he gets a lot of that back. 4.03 left to go in this first half. Awad fakes, throws outside, complete, first down. Tucker Tripp still running, still running, and knocked out of bounds inside the 10 yard line. All right, Tucker Tripp rumbled down to the six yard line for a first down. Awad gives to Hogue, dances up the middle, still getting pushed, and he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Chargers. That's Hogue's 11th touchdown on the season, and the O-line did their job, got a great push, and Edison is just running on eight cylinders in this first half.
Nick Preston on for the point after try. Trigno with the hole. The ball is up it's and good. it's good. Good. And with that Carter Hope six yard touchdown run, the varsity has matched the junior varsity from yesterday with 42 points in the first half. All right, Nick Preston back to kick again. Gets it off. Sails it in the end zone, which I really like, folks. I like it to have your special teams make the other team go 80 yards after a kickoff. 30 seconds left to go in this first half. Bell keeps the ball and dropped on the play by Bell number 10. Tackle by number 10, Jake, Jake Giles, Giles. And the rest of his defense is just playing lights out. Gain of one. Second down for the Oilers. Bell throws. On a slant. They try to strip the ball. Finally knocked out of bounds up at the 40-yard line. All right, first and 10 for the Oilers from just inside the 40-yard line. Bell gives to his tailback, and he's just blown up. That's number 54 on the play, Noah Thompson. A right, two-yard loss on that play gives Huntington Beach a second down and call that 12, throwing deep down the field. And picked off, we think, by Malachi Pierce. And they're saying incomplete. We'll slow it down, let you take a look at it. But a great effort by Malachi Pierce. All right, third and 11 from the 38 yard line for Huntington Beach. Bell drops, throws out to the flat. And knocked out of bounds by Logan Gregory, short of the first down. Okay, from the Department of Redundancy, Department, 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 the Oilers are back to kick again. It's fourth down, Malachi Pierce is back. About a minute left to go. Ball gets off. Pierce comes up and gets possession of the ball. There is exactly one minute left to go in this first half. Edison with the ball. Awad looking to throw again, gets it out to Tucker Tripp. And gets out of bounds around the 49, 50 yard line. All right, 50 seconds left to go in this first half. Ball right on the mid stripe. Ho gets the ball, finds the hole, dances outside, gets up to the 44, 43 yard line. Second down and nine. Awad drops back, looks, throws. And took a trip with a completion with 14 seconds left to go in the half. All right, there's 14 seconds left. Ball on the 32. Awad drops, looking and is sacked at the 40. All right, Coach Grady with two seconds left is going to try to put one more score up on the board in this first half. Awad drops back, throws up that Hail Mary, going downfield and nearly intercepted. And that brings the first half to a close. Because your Chargers are up 42 to zero on the Huntington Beach Oilers. Let's go to Riley. It's halftime and the score is Edison 42, Huntington zero. Everyone says that football is the hardest sport but other people will argue that water polo. So let's take a look at our varsity boys water polo team. For those of you at home who've never played polo before, it's a lot like hockey, you get ejected, you're going one-on-one -on -one with another kid, and it's pretty physical. I really enjoy being an attacker on the one-two side because I really enjoy just putting the ball in the back of the net and scoring. I can't do it all by myself though. I have a great team that works with me and I work with them. We have great teamwork and great team chemistry. My favorite shot would be the bar down is when the ball just hits the top bar and just goes straight down into the net. My second favorite shot would just be a skip shot, either overhand or underhand. It's always nice to get a good skip to the top left or top right. I've been on varsity for four years since freshman and I've just made a lot of great friends through it. All the older boys are like older brothers to me and they've always helped me through practices and games. 
I've been playing water polo for the last eight years, and I got into it with one of my friends who used to play. And I'd have to say that the hardest part about being a goalie is the mental hurdle of a ball flying at your face. And the most fun part would have to be the look on somebody's face after you block them. Another great thing about being goalie is I get the opportunity to sit back and watch my teammates on offense. Uh, I manage to still be pretty hyped after they score. Being a water polo player helps in the classroom because I'm used to having to be disciplined and working on the clock for getting everything in on time. If you're an incoming 8th grader, I really encourage becoming a water polo player at Edison because it helps me personally and I'm guessing it'll help you in the classroom a lot. It helps me stay disciplined in the classroom knowing that if I don't get my homework done or my work done and I get bad grades, I can't play polo, which is I love to play polo. And it also helps me outside the classroom because it teaches me social skills to be friends with a lot of people and just work hard in general. You're right when you say water polo is one tough sport. Now, let's take it up to Papa Allen for the play-by-play. -play. Thanks a lot, Riley. And again, yeah, water polo is one tough, tough sport. I'm telling you, you gotta sit there and tread water, you gotta have a guy hanging all over you, and you gotta get up there and score. Okay. Nick Preston boots it into the end zone. Into the end zone for a touchback. Touchback. Oilers starting off Oilers will take over first and ten. All right, Bell brings his troops out to the 20-yard line. It'll be first and ten for the Oilers to start this third quarter. Drops straight back, throws downfield. Nearly oh, picked off. 39 Carter Hogue had no idea that ball was coming. Intended for From the woulda, coulda, shoulda department, it is second down and ten. Tailback is buried by a host of chargers. Tyler Young. All right, we're going to call that third down and eight for Huntington Beach. Bell drops straight back, gets some time, throws down field. Oh, and Mr. Hogue comes up empty again. All right, the defense held again. Punny situation for Huntington Beach. Ball is nearly blocked. Punter down. Let's see where the ball is at. All right, Edison has the ball on the 44-yard line. Save Niumata, sophomore quarterback, is in. Isaiah Riley gets the ball and is dropped for a loss on the play. Isaiah Riley with the carry for the... All right, there's a five-yard loss on that tackle for a loss. Uh, Save Niumata had four touchdowns yesterday in the JV game. Got a great arm, throws to Mason York. All right, third down and nine from the 45-yard line, Niumata. Drop straight back throws. Complete, but well short of the first Modest down. Pass complete. Number 17. That's Owen Campbell, senior. Owen Campbell with All right, 852 left to go in this third quarter. And the Oilers stop the Chargers. Pierce kicks, gets a great roll, and it gets into the end zone. All right, first and 10 for the Oilers from the 20. Bell steps back, throws downfield, complete. Knocked out of bounds by number 36, Carson Bell's pass Schmidt. complete to All right, for those of you wondering where the Oiler moniker came from, this is an oil town. Back in the day, there were a lot of derricks and oil pumping units, and now you see most of them offshore, but there's some still along Pacific Coast Highway. And I used to work offshore here off Huntington Beach uh, in my much younger days. Great quarterback throws. And number seven, Logan Gregory on the tackle. Second down and four from the 41 yard line for the Oilers. Bell drops, gets time, throws downfield. Nearly intercepted. Flag on the play. Pass intended. Malachi Pierce on the defense. There is a flag. All right, the officiating crew called a pass interference against Edison, giving the Oilers a first down. Bell drops back, looks, throws out, and that's picked off. That's number six, Dylan Walters. 
and Edison is back in business. All right, first and 10, Edison from the 50-yard line, 7.33 to go in this third quarter. Niamata looks, throws quickly, and the ball is dropped by number 16, Carson Daniels. All right, second and 10 for Edison from the mid-stripe. Isaiah Riley in the backfield, Niamata takes, throws. Quick out to Carson Daniels. This time he bowls forward. Five-yard pickup, making his mama happy. All right, the ball is on the 45-yard line, third down and five. Niamata waits, takes the snap, throws, first down. That's Owen Campbell down to the 21-yard line, first down. Owen Campbell with a catch for the Fine touch on the ball by Niamata. All right, first and five for Edison from the 15-yard line. Niamata waits. Takes, getting pressured, getting pressured, and takes a sack. Didn't throw the ball Not away. a sack. On All right, that sack by the Oilers brings up second and 19. Niamata waits, takes the snap, throws it downfield, and incomplete. And we got a roughing the passer pass play, on the play on the Oilers. All right, a roughing the passer call on the Oilers gives Edison a first down. At the 15, Niamata looks, throws, and intended for Campbell, incomplete. Niamata's pass intended. All right, it is second down and 10 from the 15-yard line. Niamata has trouble with the snap, gives it to Riley. He's immediately blown up. Got a fumble on the play. Fumble, Recovered and the ball Huntington turns Beach. over to Huntington Beach. 4.49 left to go. In the third quarter, a lot of our JV team who won yesterday are in the ball game right now. Let's see how they do. Bell throws outside. And Vandermaid is dropped by number 82. That Bell's is pass complete to Vandermaid. Looking for an 82. That's Gavin first down, Slaughter from the Junior Varsity right. team. All right, first and 10 for the Huntington Beach Oilers from the 39-yard line. Bell waits. And is tackled on the play. That's number 54, Noah Thompson. Okay, I want to apologize. Uh, there was a textbook offensive pass interference play that wasn't called, but I didn't hit record. But, oh, uh, the Oilers have the ball. Deep in Edison territory. Second down and 11 from the 11. Quarterback throws into the end zone. Touchdown. Dante Bell to A.J. Vanderman for the touchdown for scores. Huntington Beach. Okay, the Oilers are on the scoreboard. Vandermade takes the ball, tries to run outside, gets into the end zone, two point play. All right, with that Vandermeer touchdown and Vandermeer two-point conversion, Edison 42, the score 18. is Edison 42, and the Oilers are on the board with eight. Okay, kicking off are the Oilers. Oh, got a lane. That's number 89, Gavin Slaughter. Yesterday he had a touchdown reception and a pick six. Okay, I want to apologize profusely. That was Jake Minter, number 89, on the return that brought the ball back to the 35-yard line. Okay, Niamata in, throws quickly to Campbell, finds the seam, gets down to the mid-stripe, first down. First and 15, Niamata throws out. Austin Sukup gets the five yards back. Pass. It is second down and 10 from the mid-stripe. Niamata brings Ashlock up right alongside. Niamata throws downfield. And incomplete intended for Owen Campbell. Pass intended. All right, 42 seconds left to go in this third quarter. It is third down and 10 from the mid-stripe. Niamata rolls to his left, sets, throws downfield. To a wide open number 17, Owen Campbell. First down at a Campbell. All 
All right, first and 10, Edison. Let's go, Brian. This time, Brian Ashlock gets the ball buried immediately at the 36 yard Brian line. Brian Ashlock with the carry for the Chargers. Those 50-50 right, raffle tickets ready. Third quarter to an end. We'll announce the winner Edison, in just 42, a moment. And the Oilers, eight. Edison Thunderclap going on down there. Student section getting into it. All right, Edison starts off with second and 14 from the 35. Oh my goodness. That's number 22, no, Austin Sukup got Austin blown Suka. up on that. He comes up like a lion. Nathan Dumansville. Third and 13 from the 40, Brian Ashlock gets the ball, tries to dance outside, and picks up about two yards, maybe three on the play. All right, Edison's in no man's land, too close to punt, too far for a field goal, fourth down. Whoa, ball intended for Campbell. Pass intended for a little high, and the ball turns three. over on downs to the Oilers. First and 10 for the Oilers from the 35 yard line. Quarterback drops straight back, throws, and we're seeing what they're going to call there. It's oh, like incomplete. The pass intended for number two. All right, we're under nine minutes to go in this contest. Second down and ten for the Oilers. Quarterback keeps the ball, tries to bounce outside, gets some positive yardage, Andrew and knocked Barone. down at the 45-yard line. All right, eight minutes to go in the contest. First down for the Oilers. Quarterback drops, throws, downfield, nobody home. All right, incomplete pass brings up second down and 10. Quarterback gives to the tailback. He is driven down to the ground. That's number 66, Skyler Williamson. Third and 11 from the 44 yard line for the Oilers. Quarterback. Drops back, throws way downfield. Interception. See who that is? That's number 89, Jake Minter. Had an interception yesterday, got one today. First and 10, Edison from the 23 yard line after that Minter interception. Tailback gets the ball. Isaiah Riley's got a seam, could go, one to beat, cuts inside, oh, needed a block, didn't get it, but he's down to the 37-yard line. Isaiah Senior Riley. Isaiah Riley. Isaiah Riley with a big first down carry down to the 38. Nehemiah waits, gives to Riley again. He finds room, bounces up the middle, still moving. Close to a first down. All right, about four minutes to go in the contest. Riley picked up seven yards on that play. Into the game of quarterback is J.R. Mendez. Takes the ball, throws downfield. Oh! Intended for Carson Daniels, knocked out at the last minute. It is third down and three for your Chargers. Niumata takes the ball, keeps it, runs. Big kid, he's got room and picks up the first down. Right, I screwed that up. That was not Neomata. That was Jared Mendez on the scramble for a first down for Edison. Throws. Oh, intended for Carson Daniels. Incomplete. All right, there's a penalty on Edison. It's first and 15. Chris Turgno in. Gives the ball to. Let's see who that is there. That's Brian on the Ashlock. Ashlock the picks up a couple yards. All right, there's 120 left to go in the ball game. Trigno looks, throws. Owen Campbell with the ball. Gets down to the nearly the five yard line. I'm sorry, 10 yard line. All right, clock is running, we're under a minute. Actually, that ball went down to the 16 yard line at this angle, I got a little confused. Brian Ashlock gets the ball and carries down to the 15 yard line. That should be the last play of the ball game. Good game on both sides of the ball by the Edison offense and defense.